Good morning, day three, Midgas Blood Festival. I'm here with uh, Nature from Tenger Cavalry to talk about a bit about your music. So uh, let's let's hit it. Uh, we are now in a place which is like full of traditions, Viking traditions. There are graves and everything. How important are traditions and heritage for for you guys? Uh, I think it's like kind of like the main theme for for the music for the past few years. You know. Uh, the music talks about nomadic tradition, about shamanism and spirituality, um, with not only like Mongolian culture, but also you know Native American and also some mm -hmm. a little bit Nordic too. So uh, I think it's it's not like we try to be like really talk about tradition. It's more like there's value in it, and we we think we should carry on the spirit. That's like kind of important for us. So you bring the stuff from from the history to future generations. Yeah, it's more like I try to like read the, the tradition from like a not modern perspective but more like a individual perspective it's mm -hmm. not like oh we try to be something we carry some burden but for us it's more like we learn from those things and we imply that to our life and so uh, we kind of enjoy just you know chill and learning you know kind of that way mm -hmm. like a uh, light heart way yeah I guess this festival is, is a pretty everything is traditional I mean Vikings, we have Vikings around in the village. You had two Vikings on stage yesterday. Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess that was pretty cool. Yeah, Eric and Tampa. Yeah. yeah, we I met them at the uh, uh, the the opening ceremony. They were like, yeah. they were doing this shaman drum. I was like, holy shit, that's like so similar to the mm -hmm. Native American and Mongolian shaman. So I was yeah. like, I gotta have them. And Tampa is like kind of my friend. We met at the camp uh, before the ceremony. We were drinking meat and shit. <laughs> so he was super cool guy. Was like, and then after the ceremony, I'm like. Can you get one, one guy with for for me? I'll stay. He said, "Sure, Eric's here. Eric's yeah. from America, so uh, so kind of like we had this two guest musician, amazing Viking guest musician playing with mm -hmm. us. So it was really fun. So Mongolian and Viking traditions, they everything mixed together. It fits perfectly. Yeah, I mean, like we actually had this conversation with them yesterday. We're like back in like like long time ago, like when you know many many like fucking like hundred years ago like all these things are all just the same thing you know like the Hun they invaded into Europe and then they there's a lot of culture they combine mm -hmm. and the Viking they, they also have a lot of similarity with Native American culture you know all this spirituality yeah uh, worship nature you know thunder and all this like you can find out in all the like the primitive uh, shamanism even North uh, even like in the, in the Korea you know in the Asian Korean they have shaman too yeah so it's have the similar idea so I kind of like yeah why not you know combine them together Mm. Yeah. I think we have in, in Europe we have pretty long long history in, in uh, mixing metal and uh, and uh, oh yeah old stories and stuff like this. How, yeah. how is the the scene in, in the US? Um, I think folk metal is coming getting big in the US. Like mm. you can see a lot of folk metal band coming to US and play, and people are really excited. People wear the patches with all folk metal. Like in the past, it's like thrash metal, death metal, yeah. but now it's like you can see people wear pure folk metal patch like mm. vest that's kind of interesting are you very exotic i mean there exotic band you kind of yeah, yeah yeah but we try to you know just fit in you know we just chill and you know play music and then talk to people you know? yeah you have been i mean really productive since you started started like is it 11 albums or something like this uh official is like only six but yeah. there's like there's some like live uh release like for, for to you know it's like mm. a given free album on Bandcamp if yeah. you calculate that but I usually just don't calculate into this live album yeah just like the official like official record studio albums like six I think yeah yeah and earlier this year you came out with uh, the latest one yeah Die, Die on my, my Ride yeah. and uh, review is found on, on our web page uh, that's a bit maybe softer softer yes stuff. that that album got a lot of really controversial if you view it mm. you know it's like in the past, people usually all expect they know the sound, but yeah. this one, like when we shift the uh, the musical direction a little bit, and we got like like different response. I, I kind of like you know expected that because mm. this one is is not like I it's not like I try to be softer. It's more like it came out that way naturally because mm. I, I I still write some like heavy riff in the album, but it's more like you express more than just like aggression there's a lot of like deep thought in the yeah. emotion expression so it just came out that way i guess yeah but the folk stuff is there anyway yeah yeah the folks that I, I i definitely still keep the all the folk stuff all the singing parts so, yeah yeah your singing is uh is pretty special thanks <laughs> <laughs> and i guess it's 
you use different like how should I say tones of of, uh, of the throat singing that you sometimes a bit deeper, sometimes a bit higher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where does it, the sound come from? Uh, well, you mean how I learn? Yeah, how, how, how you how do you do it? Uh, well, you know, I grew up in Beijing, so I have like a, a lot of Mongolian teacher in Beijing. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I learned, kind of learned from with with from a teacher, and you know, mm. like they uh, they've been traveling from Mongolia into China, so I learned it from them, and uh, uh, that's how I started to got into throat singing, and then you know. Uh, you just keep practicing and you know and talk to my teacher you know learn more from mm -hmm. them because like throat singing is like really an Asian technique and there's so many subgenres so you just have to keep practicing and practicing I'm still improving so there's yeah. a lot of other like really micro genre that you still mm -hmm. have to you know somehow like learn it so yeah and it's kind of sounds I mean uh, traditionally in folk metal you have growls and everything and it's a bit similar to growls but it's sounds more like singing and it really comes somewhere somewhere from from deep in your throat the, the singing yeah it, it's called throat singing but actually it used a lot of like uh the chest and the belly mm. so and and also up here a little bit so i think it's actually called throat singing but actually if you the less you use your real throat the better it will sound like you know? mm. so it's more like a vibration from your whole body you know okay yeah you have been now now on touring Europe this summer. Yeah, first tour in Europe, I guess. Right. How has it been? Uh, I mean, this is the first time being in Europe. We played in uh, London, uh, and then we played in uh, Rock and Open Air, and then we played three gigs in France, Montague, Paris, and Brest, and then we uh, we come here, and this is our kind of like our, our last stop before mm. we head back to the States. So I kind of really enjoy, you know, especially this tour. Like it's not super tight. So uh, I got the time to, to meet the people and talk to talk to them, like you know, communicate with your fan, you know, share yeah. stories. I, I really enjoy uh, making new friends in Europe. I, I think that's the coolest part of this tour. And the reception has been good. Good audiences. Oh yeah, people are fucking crazy. Here. Like, <laughs> they, they went nuts. Like I'm like I, I, he's like I didn't expect that to be like that good. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to say say to the people to put up a pit. They do it themselves. I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. And definitely. I guess Wacken is pretty epic place to 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 play at. Yeah, I mean, when uh, we play the Wackinger stage, and before we play, uh, when we are doing sound check, everything is only like, like well, like twenty people there. Mm. But after the throat singing, like I have a throat singing intro before the show, like one minute, and after that, it's already like fucking. You can see four thousand people there already. And yeah. after the third song, it's like. Almost like they told me it's like seven thousand. You can actually see people way back there, even though our st even though our stage is not super mm. big. So it's kind of interesting. And I guess it feels good to be on the stage in front yeah, of that audience. Yeah, I'm just kind of happy to you know uh, express my culture, uh, background, and my practice, musical practice, with people from everywhere. And I think mm. that's a magical thing about living 21st century is you got to make friends and share the stuff with everybody from no matter where they come from or what they originally speak you know i think that's the best part of yeah yeah better the tour so when do we get to see you in finland oh that's a hard question <laughs> i mean holy shit like I, there are so many fucking finnish band i, I grew up with that i fucking love absolutely love them mm. like uh, but i mean like we have to figure a schedule next year and you know figure uh you know talk to our booking agent and you know arrange like concert and yeah, we yeah. definitely will come to Finland. There's Tuska Metal Festival in Helsinki. Tuska. Yeah, 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 yeah. Recommended. Yeah. All right, we'll try. <laughs> what else lies in the future of the band? I mean, are you already working on new material and, and uh, new albums coming out later on and, and stuff like this? The story goes on. Uh, well, I think we're gonna just, after this this European festival, we're gonna uh, head back to. Uh, I'm gonna head back to my studio in New York and start to you know, write new songs and um, maybe start to you know, write, wrap up a new album for next year. Yeah, because we are thinking about like having like a full American European real tour yeah. next year. This is more like a cluster shows, but mm. next year we're planning uh, about like a full European tour, kind of like so. You know, it's good to have some new material for people. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the interview and uh, thank you for a great show yesterday. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to see you in, in uh, Finland. Thank later you. On. Thank you. <laughs> hey, this is Nature from Tinker Cavalry. Uh, you're watching Improving TV.